it's glue book saturday it's time to glue our cares away welcome back friends it's the half-ass crafter i'm laura the half-ass crafter and we're gonna do glue book saturday maybe it's half-ass glue booking uh so happy saturday i hope everyone's having a good time uh hopefully it's a relaxing weekend day um here is a page that I think we did part of. Uh, I have been working in, I have a few glue books going. This is my main one, um, but I have been working in some glue books without you. I've definitely, as I get magazines and I'm flipping through them, if I find a picture and I'm like, oh, that's a glue book room, I put it in here. I think this is great because there's so much empty space right here that I could just fill up. I mean, we could have like monkeys hanging on the rafters. Ah... The one we're going to do today, my fine feathered friends. I don't know. I, maybe I don't think y'all have feathers, but maybe you do. Or maybe you you have a bird and maybe your bird's like, she's talking to me. Finally, finally, someone sees me. So I think this is Kim Kardashian's closet. I can't remember. There was a Architectural Digest sent me this um, like special issue of celebrity homes and I was just going through it one day because I was like man I never found anything in that catalog or that book and I think I got a few of these pictures you've seen that one I did add a little tiny dog he's in the almonds uh, I think you saw that one I added this cool dude uh oh this this came out of a oh what is it Coco and something something in Coco catalog but it's a catalog. Um, and then I don't remember what this came out of, but it matches that chair. I think that chair is awesome. We saw that one. I may have added pieces to it. We saw this one. I think I added this palm tree, but the rest of it, I think you saw. Um, oh yeah, I did this one. I don't think I did this one with you. So this was the lady sitting at the bar I think this was in Austin or Nashville, Austin. And um, yeah, I added all of this stuff to it, which I really like this. I like that I put this bird on the chandelier and I've got this dinosaur holding a sandwich behind the, the shrubs. I got the gecko looking at space and there is a little space alien. I don't know. None of it makes any sense. It makes me giggle. That's, that's all that matters. So today... We're going to work in, I think it's Kim Kardashian's closet. I don't know who it is. Somebody's closet. Some fancy person with probably more money than they could ever spend. But that's fine. Whatever. Free commerce, I suppose. So, I have all of these bits. And I will, I'll be honest, I was watching uh, some YouTube videos the other night. And I was fussy cutting and then I started looking through this book and I was like, oh man, you know what would go on this book is one of those paper dolls that Sandy sent me and I picked one out and I'm like, this is her closet for sure. I mean, I know she's pretty fancy, but come on. I don't know. She just fits in there really well. Uh, I got this little dog with boots because hello. Uh, I've got all sorts of things. My favorite is I found this group of people going across a suspension bridge and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to put that in that closet because the closet is so big that there are people traversing it on a suspension bridge. That's my thought. And I've got a purse. Oh, I've got this picture of David Bowie that I'm going to put right there. And we're going to use my new square glue stick. We're going to try it out. We're going to see how it works. So... Uh, I don't know if you've seen my, uh, nope, you haven't. There's a haul video where I show this. Um, it smells like baby powder, which freaks me out. And I don't know why it freaks me out, but it freaks me out. So we're going to see if it's any good. It might not be. It may be ungood. It's a Japanese glue stick that came from a Japanese stationery store on Amazon. Um, well, you don't have a lot of wiggle room, I'll tell you that. So you better hope where you're, you like where you're putting things. Um, let's see. So I know that I want these folks there. I'm fairly certain I want to put 
something over them. So they're going to be in the background because I need it to just be like, you're looking at this picture of this closet and then you're like, wait, are those people on a suspension bridge? Yes, because this closet is massive and ridiculous. So I had to put something that was equally ridiculous in here. Uh, and let's see, I think, I think she's going to go pretty much in the background. However, I have some options for her. Um, okay. So I have this lampshade, which I was, or light fixture, which I was going to actually make a light fixture. But then as I'm putting it on there, I'm like, wait a minute, it's a little hat. So she could have that as a hat. And then I cut out this fire pit because I was like, what if this is like so big that there's a fire pit in it? But then I was like, hang on, it's a little hat. So I don't know. I do kind of like the idea of a fire pit. However, I do want this dog down here. So I don't think I have room for a fire pit. And I think that this is too big to be her hat. So I think we're going to set that off the side. I think that this works to be her hat. So let's make this her hat. We are going to give her a little hat. Bloop. She has a little hat. And then that means we're going to have to cut her off a little bit, but that's fine. I'm not worried about that. All right. And then the next thing that I have, so I think that's going to go up there because it kind of looks like clouds, right? Um, or we could do, this is like, I think it's a chair. It's like one of those swinging, swinging chair things. And we could hang that from the ceiling as the light fixture. Mm, it's okay. It kind of gets lost. I kind of like that. Well, that kind of gets lost too, but actually looks better. Okay. And then the next thing I have is she could have, okay. So she could have these as earrings. Funny, cute, hilarious. They should probably be facing similar directions like that. Or I cut out these light fixtures and I was like, wait, these might be her earrings. Yes, those are her earrings. Okay, that's easy. That was easy. Earring one. And earring two. So, um, there's just always a glare, right? It's either your glare or my glare. No way to really tell who's going to get the glare. So, I thought what I would do, whoa, for Glue Book Saturday is give you shrimp updates if there are any to be had uh and there is there's a shrimp update i know i don't remember who it was but somebody said hey you've got to update us about the shrimp like i really need to know uh i think it was tammy but i can't remember if that's who it was um so whoever you were let me know just remind me um so somebody was like we need shrimp updates and i was like haha absolutely and I replied and I said, but I, I still don't see any shrimp. And now I've lost my baby snail. I hadn't seen my baby snail in days. So I, um, I'm going to glue this down first. So the other day, I just happened to have a break between meetings. And I walk over to my fish tank because it's in my office. And I start looking and lo and behold, there's my baby snail on the side of the tank. And I'm like, oh, my baby snail is back. Well, that's cool. Okay. So the baby snail isn't lost and it's doubled in size. Okay. So that's cool. I have only seen this one. So that's good. I'm hoping that it was just like a baby snail that just happened to be in the moss that I bought or happened to be attached to another one of the snails that I bought or something. I don't know. I'm just going to assume that it was somehow misplaced into the bag. Uh, I have to put you on pause because there's a woodpecker pecking on my house that I have to run off. Okay, that was very loud. It sounded like someone knocking on the side of my house and I'm on the second floor. 
So that was very scary. <sighs> I have a northern flicker. He has decided that my house is where he should go to peck on the wood. For whatever reason, northern flickers peck on wood. Uh, it's I don't know what it's for. There's behavioral reasons. Anyway, so where was I? I was about the okay, so I, I somehow I got this baby snail. I'm just going to say that my snails did not reproduce themselves, that this baby snail was caught up in whatever I bought from the store. So that's my story, and I'm going to stick to it because it's the one that comforts me. So I'm watching my baby snail, and then I see at the bottom of the tank a molted shrimp shell. And I'm like, whoa, hang on a minute. And I'm going to put a picture up and I'm going to try to slow it down so that you can see the shrimp molt is like a white clear color. And then the, the snail is the brown part, but it's kind of fuzzy over to the left on the, on the glass. So, um, there should be a picture there of that so that you can see them because I wanted photographic evidence. Boy, am I glad I took the photograph because the very next day I wake up I go into my office and the shrimp molt is gone. It's gone. It's not there anymore. And I have my three snails. I have my Placostomus. And I have my one sole, lonely, neon Tetra. And I look at my Tetra and I say out loud, Are you really a cold-blooded killer? Did you eat that shrimp molt and my tetra just darts around and so now i have a story in my head that actually my placostomus isn't eating things fish namely my neon tetra ate its buddies that's why there's only one neon tetra remaining and that's why the placostomus hasn't eaten that one because it's not the placostomus it's the tetra that's eating all the other fish so that's that's my current uh, conspiracy theory for my uh, very controversial fish tank, as you can imagine. All right, so uh, next we need this dog. So, so the, the shrimp molt went away, but as I was taking a picture of the shrimp molt, I did see some of the rocks move. So I'm 99% sure that I do still have at least one shrimp, probably all three, and they are in the gravel. That is my assumption. I will let you know if I come across any more shrimp and I will take pictures because, you know, this stuff doesn't last and, you know, my husband doesn't believe me. So, did I just rip that? Oh, man, this glue is just, this glue is very sticky, which I've, I hear that some people really like a, a good sticky glue. Some people like glue that glides easily. Oh, no, no, no. This is very sticky glue. Okay, so the, the glue, G-L-O-O, -O, stick is very good. Works as intended. Ugh. I'm very sad about that. All right. It's okay. You can't really tell. Okay. And then I did have this lemon. I think I'm just going to put that lemon on top of her. So that'll go in last. I have this little, um, this is a purse that I cut out of another little magazine. Because, you know, y'all, I got fashion magazines coming out my ears. Do I want to like put it there? I just don't, that, that little thing just doesn't want to be anywhere really. Um, do we want like a swing on here? No. All right, let's put her down and see where we're at. So another, I don't know if I said this, I think I did say this in my last, uh, glue book room video. The front gate catalog is amazing for glue book rooms. If you want the rooms backgrounds, um, I did get a bunch of catalogs this week, which are also awesome. Um, let me think. <laughs> which ones did I get? Well, I got two more front gate because now my husband's getting front gate catalogs. I don't know why, but that's fine. 
there is a good chance he is getting them for me because that's the kind of guy he is. He's just, he's just nice. He's just so nice, thoughtful, that guy. Uh-oh, that's not where I need her. How long can you... Oh, quite a bit. Okay. That's where I need her. Yes, perfect. Excellent. Look at that. Oh, that's great. Okay, so, so far I really do like the square glue stick. I can't remember. I think that was three for $9. So they're like $3 each, which is kind of a lot, I admit. But I really wanted to try them. I used to be the person who would not allow myself to splurge on things because I didn't think that I was worth it or whatever. And now I don't do that as much. I mean, I'm still sensible about things, but also YOLO, you only live once. Okay. And then I wanted to like give her a little cup of tea down here. So I'm going to do that. So I do think I have shrimp. There, There is evidence of shrimp. Let's put it that way. Evidence of shrimp exists. Um, I do have these soaps, which I actually think I was going to put the soap behind her head or something. I don't remember what I was going to do. But that's not happening anymore. Um, do I want these in any way? Sorry about the glare. It's just the nature of the beast. If I take those away, what do I get? Mm. I don't think that they add a lot of value. If I take that away, what do I get? Yeah. Whoa, that really blends in pretty well, doesn't it? He, that's hilarious. That's how big her closet is. I don't know, I kind of feel like I could add these things and that would be okay. I'm gonna add them just to use them. Because as my friend Shell over at Shell's Creative Chaos says, um, she's like, she told me one time, if you're getting tired of your magazine images, you're not gluing them down fast enough. And I said, yes, mom, because boy, was she right. That is valid information. Oh, you know what? I don't want that there. I want that there. So that's kind of an empty spot. Yeah. And then maybe I want this one over here just because it's kind of unexpected. Like you wouldn't really see it. Oh yeah. Ah, neat. Kind of like that. All right. Do we want to hang this from there? Yep, we do. Because we're just using this stuff up. Doesn't matter. Don't overthink your art. Just feel your art. How does your art make you feel? Don't think too hard on it. Just worry. Just think, how does that make me feel? And go with that. Ta-da! Oh, that's great. I love that. All right, let's do another one. Set those off to the side. Those are my backgrounds, like my bigger pieces. These are all of my fussy cuts. Oh, I do need to trim this page, so let's do that. I'm trying to take a page, ha, ha, ho, no pun intended, from Nicole over at Relax Cut Glue. She really loves trimming her pages, so I don't. I think it's the worst, uh, but she loves it. And then she also does it like immediately. And I usually just leave it alone because I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to mess with it. Um, but I'm trying to just go ahead and do it. Get it out of the way. Just do it, Laura. It's fine. It's fine. Just do it. Get it out of the way. Move on. It's all going to be okay. All right. So I have these little, these little things, which maybe I could put back here on the table. Um, I what is that? I forgot. It's something ridiculous. Oh, it's a match stick holder. So it's just a holder for matches. And it's like a modern day thing. This didn't come out of like a vintage catalog. I don't know. Don't ask me. I just work here. 
Uh, and then I have these. Would these be cute in here? Oh, they kind of would, wouldn't they? That gets a little interesting, doesn't it? Oh, okay. And we got this little thing, which we could put there. Okay, all right, okay. We're, we're moving and grooving now, folks. So let's see, I gave you a little shrimp update. Scrimps. The scrimps are around. They're not... They're, it's funny because everything that I read online says that these types of shrimp, they're called Amano shrimp, are very social and that they will hang out with the other critters in your tank. And what I am finding is that mine are not. But also if they're molting, they will not be social because they hide to protect themselves, obviously, because they're very vulnerable. Oh my God, I'm just ripping this thing. Y'all saw that coming, didn't you? Okay, well. All right, this is, this has gotten a little ridiculous. I don't even know if this has glue on it anymore. I don't know. Okay. I gotta put the bottom down first. So there's the bottom of that one, which doesn't have any glue on it. And then there's the bottom of that one. Okay, so there's that one. There we go. And then there's that one. Ooh, this one didn't get trimmed properly. Here we go. And now I've got to put more glue on it because there's not enough glue on it. The glue dried. That is the one thing I have found with glue sticks. I don't know if any of y'all have found this. I know I live out in a place where it's very dry most of the time. I mean, our humidity, like, on a good day is 30%. Like that's a, that's a humid day. If it gets over 40%, I can tell. I'm like, oh, it's humid outside. It's ridiculous. I come from the South. I should not be saying that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is turning into a disaster. Okay. Art glitter glue. This is dumb. Why am I trying to do a glue stick with detail work? Uh, they did prescribe burns today. That's just where the National Forest Service folks go out. And um, they burn so that the wildfires aren't as bad if they get started somewhere. So they go to like the high risk areas, I guess. I don't know. I don't actually know. I assume it's the high risk areas, but then some days I'm like, why are you burning there? That makes no sense. Um, but not my job. Not my job. So they were burning today, so it was, it actually got a little smoky. And when that happens, ugh, man, I've never, like I grew up in Georgia where it gets really like, I mean, it's pollen season and it's like snowing pollen. It's just yellow dust in the air all over the place. Your car turns green because there's so much pollen on it. It's gross. I mean, it's just really gross. I never had an allergy in my life. And then I move out here and everything makes is making me all gross. But wildfire smoke, man, that does a number on me, like fast. My nose starts running and I'm like, my sometimes my throat will hurt and my ear will start hurting. The ear hurting thing was really weird when it happened the first time. I was like, am I am I sick? And then I was like, no, it's really smoky. And so then I was like, well, okay then. That's a picture of a tumbleweed. So uh, Cindy over at Studio Lou was talking about tumbleweeds one day and uh, I left her a comment to let her know about like what a tumbleweed is because we have tumbleweeds out here. Uh, we do not have tumbleweeds in Georgia. But out here, there are tumbleweeds, and they are prickly AF, y'all. I'm just saying, super prickly. 
Okay, I kind of want to put this dog down here. Um, and some of them have like dagger type thorns. The ones here on my property, they just have like prickers, you know, like, like a blackberry bush would or something, but not like a really aggressive blackberry bush, I guess. Um, it's so weird that this smells like baby lotion or something, baby powder. I just smell, I smell like I'm, it feels like I'm diapering a baby over here. That's what it smells like. My blue book smells like a diaper change. So yeah, so tumbleweeds are like, that's how they spread their seeds. So they're totally, they are actually weeds. The ones that I have are an invasive weed, of course, and they're everywhere because here's what they love. They love full sun and low moisture soil, like sandy low moisture soil. Yep. I know. So basically, you know, they can never die. They're like cockroaches of weeds. They're cockroaches of the plant world. And then they'll just break off in the fall and they'll blow all up against my fence and I'll have a whole clump and I have to put on leather gloves and I'll go pull them away. I do try to weed throughout the summer and pull them out of the ground, but man, you cannot stay on top of it. I'll be out there for two hours. I'll clear it all out. A day later, it's all back. It's, it's crazy. My husband's like, didn't you just get rid of all those weeds? And I'm like, yep. And they're back. So let's see. Um, I do have this little flame, but I don't think we need the flame on this one. Um, I'm trying to see what funny or interesting little bits I have. I have this cat. The cat looks like it's just coming in from nowhere. That's kind of funny though, because it does look like it's it's all like, I'm coming. Hello. But it needs to be not on this page. Okay. Well fine then. Let's see. I'll bring these over here so that you can see them too. There isn't like a whole lot to see right this second because Okay, I have this little cup of tea. I have these baskets. I don't like those. You know what? I'm moving on to another page. All right, I don't want to work on her. I've already worked on that one. Ooh. What if the cat is here? Oh, yes. The cat is most definitely here. Hopefully I don't rip it. Uh, so there is a new... Okay, she's not new. It's new to me. Um, I found Messy Missy Creates. She does glue booking and she's hilarious. I think she's in Alabama. I can't tell if she's in Alabama or Florida, um, but she sounds like my people. So I love her accent and her voice and hanging out with her and her stories about fishing and Florida and all sorts of stuff. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. This is so much fun, and I have really just enjoyed her glue booking videos, y'all. So if you want more glue booking videos, you should definitely go check her out. I'm going to put that up there just because she's hilarious, and she has some good stories, and she also does, like, daily journaling, um, and so, which is cool because she, like, journals with, like, pictures of what she did that day, and I think that's really neat. So... You should go check her out if you want to do, want to see more glue booking videos. If you just can't get enough, because sometimes you can't. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I go through and I go through and I go, oh my gosh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I have a lot of these. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold your horses, y'all. Okay, this came from that, oh, what is it called? Something in cocoa. It's what this came from, actually. Oh, that's why all this stuff matches. Yeah, yeah, ew. Yuck, 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 yuck. Okay, well, maybe I don't want to use all of it. Maybe I do, though. It's kind of a neat border, isn't it? It is kind of neat, but I don't think I want to use them all up. But I do like that. So we're going with, we're going with the elephant. So. Um, what else is the haps? Let's see. We went to Seattle. I posted a picture 
of me and the baby on Instagram, if any of y'all saw that, or if you're interested, um, you can check out my Instagram. There's a link below. Um, we got a few new folks into the Facebook group, which is really cool. Look, I need y'all to understand when it comes to social media, I suck 100%. I don't update my, my Instagram very often. I try to remember, but I forget. And then I'll have like a week where I re remember consistently and then I forget for the next six months. So it's very half-ass out there. So if, you, if you're following me and you're like, I'm gonna get good content every day, you're not. You're going to be very disappointed and I'm sorry, um, but I have to manage your expectations. So consider your expectations managed. Ooh, let's put that down there. This is what I like about the rooms. You know, you hide all of this little stuff together and then it's just like, you really can just look at them for hours and be like, what all's it? What all's in here? What all did I add in here? I don't even remember. I mean, like, I'm going to add this Robin Hood. Oh no. I'm going to add yellow submarine. Maybe I could do Robin Hood and Yellow Submarine. Like cushions. That would be funny. Oh yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing that because I was like, hee hee, that's kind of that's kind of silly and clever. The lunch boxes are the pillows. Get it? And that's why I love this stuff. It's so simple and easy. You don't have to think too hard about it, you know? That's the best part. There we go. I needed that to look. I needed the perspective to be better. All right. And then maybe I put that there or down here. I do have this heart bird feeder, but I don't think that really goes there. I have this, which is very similar in colors to everything else going on here. I could put it down here, kind of like a little, a little rug. Ugh, I kind of wish I could peel up that elephant, but let me tell you, this glue stick is gluey. So I'm not peeling up anything that I have put down with that glue stick. I can tell you that. If you were wondering, hmm, is there anything else? Ooh, look, that's the same color. Let's trim it up a little. So I am going to be out of town for a while. Um, I'm going to try to record enough videos that you don't know that I'm gone. However, I won't be able to, well, I can get to comments and I will reply to your comments, but I won't have my email. Um, so if you email me while I'm gone, I'm not mad at you and ignoring you. Uh, chances are I'm never mad at you and ignoring you because that requires a lot of effort. I'm kind of lazy. I really wish that this was the other way so that I could put it over here. Hmm. <laughs> could I put it somewhere else? No. All right. I think I'm going to have to like not do that one. I do kind of like that. Maybe I should just glue it down and not think about it. Somebody's doing a not thinking glue book. Oh, it's Diane over at Tattered Edges Designs. She's doing a don't think about it glue book um, where she just like puts things down and then she starts thinking about it which is funny she's like but do i but i don't like it here but maybe i want it over here what and then she's like oh i'm not i'm thinking stop thinking diane put it down and it's funny because i don't even catch that she's thinking i'm just like oh yeah where should you put it i like that there and uh and she catches herself so that's pretty funny okay i'm gonna try to remember to link all these people um can't guarantee it though, y'all. I can't guarantee it. I I am gonna try though. Like my gosh darn hardest, I will try. And I know.
know that this cup of tea is just kind of floating, but I think it'll be all right. Maybe we could put this little flower over it. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to leave that there for a second. I've got to rifle through here some more because I know that I have stuff. I've got so much stuff in here. I just have been like, oh my gosh, what if we did a band of dinosaurs? Oh my gosh, they could be coming out of the tea. No, okay. All right, those dinosaurs need like a lot more preparation. I understand. I understand. Ooh, what about a leaf? Do we want the leaf like that? We could put the leaf like that. We could put the leaf that's kind of going the wrong way to go there. You could put the leaf like that. Nope, I don't like that at all. I think I might actually like this there. Let's do it. What does it matter? Although that's kind of cool. Look at that. Mm. That's kind of fun. But nobody's going to know what it is, so... It's going to be hidden for all of eternity. Well, I chased that woodpecker off and he's gone, so that's good. Man, that really scared me. I was like, who the heck is knocking on my wall? Like, who got up here? Somebody's on. I literally, for a split second, thought that someone was on a ladder, knocking on the side of the house and staring at me through the window. And then I was like, oh, that's that damn bird. So we had the, it's a Northern flicker and we had the exact same type of bird that, uh, got into the house in Portland and my husband had, oh, my husband and that bird were going around and around a few times. It was actually pretty funny. Um, but he learned all about those birds and he was like, oh, you put snakes up, you put rubber snakes up cause they hate snakes. And so you, just put rubber snakes wherever they're coming and pecking on your house, and then they'll just leave it alone. And by God, it worked on his house. He's like, I put those snakes up there, and nobody's been back. And if you go to his house, you have to look for it. But if you look up, you can see, sure enough, there is a... I don't know how where I want the handle. I'm very confused. If you look up, sure enough, there's little snake heads. Little rubber snakes popping out near his vents. It's pretty funny. So he bought me some rubber snakes. And I was like, well, you can put them up when you come back. Because I don't do heights. I don't do heights. Oh, I have these little shelves. I forgot I had those. Okay, I think that one's going to be done. I think, I think we're good. I like everything in it. So let's look at what we did. Because we did, we, hey, that was three in like 30 minutes. So we did this one, which is cool. We did this one, which needs to be trimmed. And I don't actually think it's really done. I may, I may go and put a piece of washi right here, actually. And I know that that would cover up these um, flowers, but, or at least part of these flowers. But oh my gosh, y'all, I have so much good washi tape. Did you not see my haul videos with all my new washi tape? I'm so excited about the washi tape. So, and then we did the closet. Oh, I love the closet one. Isn't that one great? It's my favorite. I love it. I hope you love it too. And I hope that you had fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. You know, if you could hit that like button, if you're still around, which I hope you are. And, um, Subscribe if you haven't already. That is the best way to support my channel. It's free. It's easy. That's all I ask of you. And uh, yeah, until next Saturday, I hope that you enjoy and keep gluing. And I will see you on this channel in a few days doing something else. Bye.